I bet you always get your surveys or civil 3D files before you even start modeling in Revit, right? I know, which is why today I'm gonna show you how to acquire coordinates from your site to your existing Revit model. Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge. It's good to see you. Make sure you don't miss any of our weekly BIM productivity videos. Now, if you haven't watched my video on creating a site plan for your project, I recommend you watch that first, or just feel free to continue and watch my recap. Now, before we start, obviously there are several ways that you can do this, and this is just one of them. And you may wanna back up your files before you start working with your coordinates. Now, let's get into the video. Let me show you my current file setup. You can either follow along from the previous video and the files will be the same, or let's just make sure that you have a site plan that's separated from any other discipline model. And this site plan should have a site project north view with the correct parameter assigned to it, and a site true north view. In my case, as you can see, the parameter is assigned and I'm showing a 10 degree angle. And that file should have a survey or a cat file with the right world coordinates and as you can see i'm getting that reading right here now let's take a look at the architectural model now your architectural model should have a similar setup with the site project north and site true north with the right parameters assigned to them now the only difference is that in this case i want to show the site at the ground level so what i did for both site plans was go to view range and make sure that this value which is usually high the cut plane it's set to zero so you can capture the slab in my case and the grids now the typical challenge here is that you have a point with known coordinates and the project base point is usually not in that spot so let's go ahead and pick that spot as you can see i have a j1 grid intersection or i could pick the edge of the slab that's up to you uh, you should know the coordinates of either one of those points. Now, uh, what we want to do here is grab the project base point, which is the circular one. And as you can see, now it's showing 000, zero, zero as coordinates. And make sure it's unclipped. And you want to move it in the point that you know the coordinates of. Now the point that we have the coordinates of in the site plan corresponds to this point. So let's go ahead and bring it in here. Now to do that, you may want to go to manage links or you can assign the ML keyboard shortcut, which I highly recommend. And from here, this is manage links. You can add your site start, which is the name of my site plan. And this is important. The positioning should be project base point to project base point because the two points should match relatively. Now, if you zoom out and you don't see your survey or your CAD file, it may just be hidden. So let's go ahead and uh, head over to visibility and graphics, Revit links, and by host view, you wanna set that to custom because the imported categories may not be visible. In fact, that's what's happening here. So custom, survey, and now they will show up. Now we can see the survey, but let me point out that we haven't assigned the coordinate system yet or the orientation. So let's go ahead and do that next. To do that, I'd like to tile a few windows so you can get uh, an overall view of what's going on. Quickly before we acquire coordinates, I'd like to show you that if you click on the link, you'll see that the shared site shows the relationship between the site and the architectural model as not shared, which means that they don't share the same coordinate system. Now that we tile the windows, I'd like you to keep an eye on all three views and see what's going on. Now let's go ahead and acquire coordinates. Manage, coordinates, acquire coordinates. And then we're just going to select the link, which in this case is that point, for example. And as you can see, the coordinates updated. And this is the exact same reading we were getting in the site plan. And we're also getting the right angle to true north in the site true north view. And of course, if you zoom in, you can get that angle to true north, which is 10.17. 
and you may have noticed that the angle of the view cube rotated which means that the angle that's relative to this view didn't change the actual camera didn't move but the view cube moved to reflect the actual orientation in terms of the north south orientation now after this change if you click on the link now, instead of saying not shared, it's saying internal, which means that the two models are sharing the same shared coordinate system. Were you able to make it work for your project? Or do you have other methods to do this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.